You nasty-mouthed little madam. Gran... Yeah. I hoped that marriage would have made you grown up, would have made you think of other folks' feelings instead of yourself. But you don't think, do you, Tracy? You never have. Oh, this is all Ken needs right now. A 26-year-old chasing him round the swimming pool in a bikini. Look, nobody chased after anybody else. The attraction was mutual. I know what the attraction is, Tracy. You know nothing about it. She's using your Wally. You can see that, can't you? Well, some people might say I was using her. Look, I like Wally and he likes me. God, just look at her. No shame, no remorse. You brazen little hussy. Yeah? Well, if I'm one mam, it must be in the jeans. She can... No, don't hit me! Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, whoa. No, 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 lady, please! Just pack it! But I want the first pop here. You lying. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Look, look, I said you wouldn't give me a second glance if I was skint. Ugh. How many more women have you conned? Well, Tolly, it was just a joke. It, I just took it too far. It was only while the Lockwoods were away. You creep! Dirk, whatever his name is. You mess with Roy again, and I'll kill you. Get his hands on a real woman. <sighs> yes, I am. You've never felt sorry for anybody in your life. Well, I feel sorry for you. You're a vicious, evil, vindictive cow. And you don't care about anybody but yourself. Karen! Don't try and defend her, Steve. Because I've got one of these for each of you. You touch me with that, Karen. And I'll be suing you with criminal injury. As well as getting child support out of him. Dead people can't sue Tracy. Karen, don't make it work. How can they be anyway? Because she means it. When it comes to screwing money out of people, she does it very well. Oh, as opposed to just screwing people. <laughs> Karen, I didn't come here to hurt you. No, you just came to hurt Roy and Hayley. No. I came to get my baby back, but he wouldn't let me. Was well, it any wonder? Then he started having a go at me. You're not dealing with Haley now. You're dealing with a girl who grew up knowing how to use her heels. And I want the truth. I want to know exactly what went on between the two of you. Well, you'd be lucky if you get the truth out of this one. The truth is, Karen, you've had a narrow escape. At least you know what sort of man he is. Really? What sort of man's that? He's a scumbag. You fancied him since you were at school, got yourself pregnant by him. It was an accident. You've been sniffing round him for months, got yourself a job with him, so you like scumbags, do you? Well, it took me a while to get the measure of him. How long have you been seeing each other? I don't know, we were friends for a while. One night it was. One night and one morning, actually. It was enough to get me pregnant. No, Karen, when he found out, he wanted me to get rid of it. That is a lie. I just didn't know what to do. In the end, I let him persuade me. It had gone well past that stage before I knew anything about Who's it. Who's telling this story? Yeah, and that's all it is, a story. You know, I was all set to have an abortion, Karen. And then for some weird reason, Roy thought the baby was his. Yeah, because she told him it was. The next thing I know, Haley's left him. He's tried to kill himself. Well, I couldn't go through with it then, could I, Karen? Be like having two deaths on my conscience. C conscience? Don't make me laugh. The croppers, they can't have kids. Well, there's me not wanting one, but I can't go through with the abortion. It seemed like the simplest solution. She did this for money. She sold her baby for money. Yeah, well, they did offer me money, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and she took it. You made me take it! Well, after the baby was born, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to go through with it. But my head was in bits, Karen. I've got Roy throwing money at me and he's forcing me to take it. I didn't force you to do anything. You came to see us in the hospital, didn't you? Admit it. Hours after the baby was born, he came to see us. You asked me to come? I told him that I didn't think I could go through with it. We talked about telling you about coming clean. In the end, he told me to give the baby to him. About 
my baby. Look, this is my brother's wedding day. Now get out. Come on, out. Now. I will go when I have spoken to Roy. You will go now. Yeah, come on. Oh, God, will you? You can't do that. Come on, get out. Oh, no, I just want my baby. Look, your, your baby's with the father like we agreed, Tracy. I don't care what we agreed. I just want her. Well, I'm sorry, it's too late. She's stopping with me and her dad. Oh, that's not her dad. Shut up, I'm warning you. Oh, you're warning me, are you? Why are you warning me? You're going to tell everyone who the real father is? Is that what you're warning me? We know who it is. What's the matter with you? No, you don't. You just think you Shut do. Shut up! Because this is who the real father is. Bridegroom. Steve. Not Roy Cropper. Well, aren't you? Go on, tell her. What did you just say? Nothing, honey. Nothing, honey. She's just going now. What did she say? I said, Steve, that you're marrying is the baby's father. You lying little whore. Well, then why don't you ask him, Karen? Is it true? Tell the bride the truth, Steve. <laughs> Karen! Oi, oi, you happy now, are you? I won't be happy till I get my baby back. Can you, can you all sit down, please? They've got my baby! You... <laughs> oh, here she is. Not a care in the world. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't ring the police when you left your kid on our doorstep. Oh, that's what you call leaving her with a father, is it? So what kind of world do you live in where it's just all right to just leave kids in doorways? A world where the parents share the responsibility for the fruit of their loins, Karen. Do you know what? You are coming with me, and you're going to collect your child. I'm not, as it happens. And I'm not prepared to discuss our daughter's childcare with an outsider. Childcare? Is that what you call using it to get in between me and Steve? No, I'm sorry Amy's made you feel like this, Karen. But I suppose it is best you know now, while your eggs are safely unfertilised. That is if you actually have got any, which, uh, well, remains to be seen. Don't you dare get on that bus. Get your stinking bra out of my house! Probably getting his head down, ready for the next shift, working hard to pay for your wedding. Oh yeah, best day of my life, that. You've made your dramatic entrance, Karen, now get lost. Uh, may I remind everyone that we are in God's house? Well then you better sort out your door policy, because she is well from the dark side, I'm telling you. Come on, let's get you home. Oh fine, great godmother you've turned out to be. Godmother? Oh, uh, <laughs> didn't she tell you? Liz? No wonder you won't miss it for the world. I won't turn my back on that baby anymore. Bet you call that being principled. Come on, Karen, let's get some fresh air. Yes, that'd be an excellent idea. <laughs> Done to others, is it? See, Tracy went to a lot of trouble on my big day. And I really feel like I owe her. Big time. <laughs> Don't you dare turn your back on me. Don't just get lost, eh? I must ask you all, please, to sit down. This has had disaster written all over it. Karen, stop it. You're ruining Amy's christening. What are you doing? Oh, look, everybody. Daddy's here. Well, yippee. Take her home, Steve. Oh, oh, do something, oh, Karen. Oh. Are you a man or a mouse? Oh, I did a little ring around just before my wedding, didn't you, eh, Trace? She cancelled my venue. My photographer. My cake. Oh, he still married you, though, didn't he, Karen? Even if he was kicking and screaming. Oh. I didn't have to drag him into my bed. Please. You know what, Vicar? Ow! Oh. Oh. Baby's my husband's. Oh. As my husband's baby! However painful that must be, you have no right to make a mockery of this church. I'll be in the vestry, Emily. I'm very sorry, Miles. Come on, she's not worth it. You know, every day I have to pop with this smug cow lord in it with a pram. Laughing at me. Nobody's laughing. Look at somebody! Please get her off me! Steve doesn't want to know. Okay. Ow! Okay, let it go. No, you could win the lottery and have a personality transplant, and he still wouldn't want to know. Okay, okay. Right, that's enough. <laughs> she is a psycho. Let's just go, shall we? Who cancelled my wedding?
try any more stunts like that, and I will be booking your funeral. Do you get it? Now that is enough. Well, look at it! Uh, right, that's enough! Let go of me! What's going on? I'm gonna kill her! Are you all right? Yeah? I'm used to a smack and me. I've learned to roll with a punch. Stay away from me, my husband, and my life. No, please, will you stop this brawling? Oh, I wasn't brawling. I was having seven shades smacked out of me. You always blame Tracy. Because it's always her fault. Let go of me, Steve. Let go of me! What have I missed? Just this lunatic attacking me. Yeah? And I'll do it again if I catch you sniffing around, Steve. I mean it, Tracy. This is your last warning. Stop it, Karen. I don't think it's me that needs warning off, love. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? Did he not tell you about the time we had in my hotel room after the quiz? Oh, he didn't tell you. Me, him and Amy on a bed. A special moment. I'll treasure it. I wish you'd been there. Oh, no! no, no. Oh, me and you! Oh, no. All the fighting! All the arguments! They end right here! Oh, no. No. He picked up the pieces when everybody else had given up on us. You're not fit to even speak his name. Tracy. No! I knew this was a mistake. You walked out of my life 26 years ago and I am walking out of your life now. It was real. We made love. But with you, well, well, it was just sex and nothing. Shut up! Oh. What have you done? Look, calm down. Calm down. Are you all right? What has happened? Tracy. Police? Oh. Yeah, um, I've just been assaulted. I'm gonna kill you! Oh, no, 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 no. Check it on, will ya? Oh, God. Yeah, it's Steve MacDonald. It's Coronation Street at the Rover's Return. It's him. You know, everybody thinks it's me, but it is him! He's evil! No, no, Tracy, no. That's just in case you're telling the truth. You've humiliated me. And now it's payback time. Oh, watch out, lads. You'll bet your girlfriend. It doesn't matter if they're complete mingers, they'll have anybody. <laughs> Get your hands off me! What will it take to convince you? Well, you can't. I've gone too far this time. Tracy? What are you looking at, four eyes? What the hell was that for? For cheating on me! Cheating on you? Don't act innocent, Charlie. You'd have hit me back by now if you weren't guilty. I'm not clear what you're talking about. Last night, last night when you were getting drunk with your friends, I was finding out all about you and Shelley. Shelley? Yeah. And here's another little surprise for you. She's pregnant! Get out of my house, you nasty little bitch! Coming round here, telling me that you can't get a man of your own, so you take my life! No. It messed up my head! Well, not as much as I will. I'm going to drag every hair extension out of your head one by one! Tracy, you hurt me! You are a complete oh. Tracy, what more can I say? I'm sorry! Well, if you're sorry, you can get down on your knees and grovel. Tracy! Get inside! Well, I'm waiting. <laughs> Are you alright, Maria? Do oh, you want Tracy oh, by? Tracy! Oh, oh, you're not worth it, love! How oh, dare you disrespect me? A backstreet hairdresser he won't look twice at! What's oh, you don't leave me? Call the police! Oh, Charlie's got quite a taste that you would go with anybody! Please. You don't believe me! You don't believe me! Don't believe me. Don't believe me. All right, put it this way then, Tracy. I know where his tattoo is. Oh! Oh! oh Everything off you! Not like good luck! I swear to God! I am gonna come round to your plan! You still here? Well, it looks that way, doesn't it? Me too, all in one piece. Charmed life, that's me, charmed life. Kettle just boiled, isn't it? 
Thought he might come to the bedroom last night. You've got no chance, Charlie. I don't know. I'm out with a knife. You know. Wait till the nasty man's asleep, tiptoe in, go for the jugular. That's what abused women like you do, isn't it? Get stuffed. And forget, when I get back from court this afternoon, I want you gone. You were going down for what you did to our Peter, Charlie. So how are you going to get me out when you're stuck in a prison cell? <laughs> oh. This is hot. Now, if I was the type of man you painted me out to be, the type of man the neighbours think I am, I could throw this in your face. Right now, would you like that? <laughs> Would that help? A school of face gets a lot of sympathy. I could do that for you. But I'm not that stupid. See this coffee? I don't want you drinking it anymore. See this cup? I bought every cup and saucer, every single plate and every stick of furniture in this house. My money paid for everything in this cupboard. Everything in the fridge and everything in your overflowing wardrobe. I bought you. No, Charlie! I bought you! And now, I've had enough of you, and so you're leaving and I'll throw you out by the scruff of the neck if I have to. Lay one finger on me, Charlie, and I'm going to call the police. Everybody thinks you already have, so maybe I owe you one. Well, just you try it. Don't tell me. Well, come on, then. I'd love to. Well, go on, then, Charlie. Do it. Do to me what you did to our Peter. Go on, do it. Second offence. Hmm. I go to jail. You get Scottish rights. That's the new plan, is it? <laughs> Think again. Hey, 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 Her. Oh, I get it. Any trouble around here must be my fault. Yeah. What? Yeah, again, Tracy. You're acting without thinking. Exactly. It's all an act with her. She's got a twisted mind. She's my daughter, my responsibility. <laughs> like you're responsible. Remember what she did at my trial? Oh, shut up, Gail. Steve. You can come and visit her any time you want. We're only next door. What did you say? Well, why do you have to make everything about you? You can't do this, Tracy. Just as long as you keep your skunk of a wife out of our hair, OK? Ow! Go on, Becky, smack her. You dumb skunk! Get off the of Becky! Oh, get off! You know, you're a bully! Come on! Get yeah, off! Come on! What sort of example is that to set to my little daughter? Oh, I am what example do you set when you murdered your boyfriend? I feel really scared. Oh, I'm going to have to remove myself from this situation. <laughs> oh, come on. No, come on, Amy. No, no. Stop it. No. Get off me! Oi! You. You trying to take my daughter away from me. Change your name to MacDonald. Rub her out of my life. I thought you knew me better than that. All right, love. Calm down. I know you're upset. Oh, you'll know up. when I'm upset. No! No! No, Becky! Not here! No, you won't! Fair enough. I'll pop by later, shall I? We can discuss it over a brew. Come on, look. Take your hands off her! She's upset, or aren't you noticed? You are not taking my daughter away from me. Not now! Not ever! Steve's right, love. You took yourself away. And from what I've just seen, it's the best thing you ever did for Amy. That's it, lady. We're leaving. No, because I haven't said goodbye to her! really hate about you is the way you could use your own child like that. I am not using her. And this from the woman that tried to sell her. Amy is the reason that I'm doing this. Right. So, not to do with privileges then. You don't care a jot about her. She is everything to me. Whereas you, you just feigned an interest in her to grab the only man who'd have you. Actually, darling, they were queuing up. <laughs> and were they paying an all? Cheeky cow. And I can tell just by looking at you that you're used goods. Oh, and faulty goods at that. At least my eggs are in perfect working order. Hey! Hey, 
you can forget about seeing anything from now on! And you can kiss goodbye to that little bambino because you have got a cut and chance of adopting now! This will be a bit of a shock. How dare you kidnap my daughter? I have a good oh. mind to call the police. Oh, Tracy. Don't be so stupid. She's here her own free will. She wanted to come home, didn't you, darling? Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? You snatched Never. her from our yard. Yeah, you snatched her from our lives. I am her mother. I have every right to take her wherever I want. All right, look, this is getting us nowhere. Just everybody calm down. OK, fine. So you just hand her back and I'll forget all about it, OK? No way. <sighs> Amy, come on. You don't have to listen to you, Mummy, darling. Becky. You might stand there and let this happen, but I'm not gonna. Well, get out. I'm going nowhere. Not without my daughter. <laughs> so you just hand her back all you wish you had. <sighs> Fine. Fine. If you want everybody knowing your little secret. <laughs> oh, do it for Daddy. Oh, oh, I know how we can get in. Use her head as a battering ram. Oh, thanks for that. You know, you are really helping. Would you like me to have a go? With respect, Claire, you're nothing to her. Nice work. No, don't blame me. <laughs> she Hello? begged me no, to bring you're her home. No, you're the one who upset her. This is her home. Shut up! Shut up! This right, Amy's going to be in there for the duration, and you know what? I won't flip him blame her. Yes, you are right. We all need to calm down. Listen, listen, listen. Why don't you go through to the bar and I'll see if I can talk around? What? I, I'm the bad guy in all this now, am I? Uh, Becky, this isn't about you. We have got to put Amy first. Oh, come on. You can't win with her. That's right, Clara Bell. Now be a good girl, Becky, and run along. As she had her eggy bread. Yeah. Look, that's it. I've had enough. I'm taking her home. She is home. You're boring me now, Becky. Just go and get her, will you? And please, don't kick off again. I don't want Amy having to witness any more rows. You're the one who's always starting something. We're her mum and dad, and we don't want the poor kid growing up in some sort of war zone. You've been begging for a slap all day. Uh, be, 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 be. Look, we don't want to make matters worse. It must be exhausting, trying to keep control of her, like uh, wrestling with a Rottweiler. Amy lives here. This is her home. This is where she wants to stay. But you don't give a toss about that, do you, as long as you get your own way? It's cruel to be kind, Becky. Yeah. And that's what this is about. Look, kids are adaptable. A couple of days sulking and she'll be fine. Steve, just tell her Amy's stopping here. Well, it's not as simple as that, is it? Look, we all want what's best for Amy, so we're all going to have to learn to compromise. You behave yourself, Becky. You've already lost Amy. It would be such a shame if Max was taken away from you as well. That was some row. Pretty vicious. Get out. You know, more people divorce after Christmas than any other time of year. Oh, that and the summer holidays. Do one. I'm warning you. Spending all that time cooped up together makes people realise they are totally wrong for each other. So you want me to chuck you out? You know, I'm thinking about training to be a counsellor because I've always been a people person. Look, Becky, I can understand why you're angry with me. Me and Steve go way back. We've got a connection. And that is why you hate me so much. Because you can see it, can't you? And you know there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. I mean, you might be married to him, but that's nothing compared to having a child with someone. It gives you, like, an unbreakable bond. And that is something you will never have. Because you are incapable of giving him a child. My family mean everything to me. The all I've ever wanted. So no one's taking that away from me. No one. Will you enjoy the rest of your Christmas with Steve? Because it's going to be your last. Because I'm telling you, this time next year, it's going to be me, Steve and Amy together. A proper family. Just give him a big fat kiss from me, won't you? Give me that. Go, go. Give it to me! Get off me, you mad cow! That was Claire on the phone, oh, I know it was! Like it was! God! Oh, yeah? So how many other Joshuas and Freddies are there then? 
Well, so what if it was, Claire? What's that got to do with you? She tried to kill me! Yeah, and I am gutted that she never managed it. You know what, Tracy? You want to pack this in right now because you ain't ever going to get what you want here. Oh, yeah. And you know what I want, do you? Claire. She's gone for good. She's never coming back. Fine. Well, I'm just going to have to tell the police that you know where she is. Do it. Let's see how popular that makes you around here. This isn't a popularity contest. Well, that's good, isn't it? Because you'd never win it. Listen, love. Half the people in the street chipped in to help her escape. Because they were delighted when she did what she did. So go on. You have yourself a little dig about. See what good it does you. See what good it does you. Hiya. Got on some Oh, I'm sorry. Hiya. How was your holiday? I meant Amy. Steve said you were bringing her. Really? He didn't say out to me. He said, come in. Must be about the rota. What, you mean the like, who's minding Amy rota? Quite witty, really, aren't you? It just takes a bit of spotting. Mm -hmm. Well, then I just don't know what rota you're on about. Oh. Did Steve not tell you? Yeah, that's right, because, like, you rushed off swimming, isn't it? We're fully staffed, love. Soz. Star and everything, yeah? It's all right. My pleasure. Actually quite enjoyed it. I mean, it's hardly rocket science, but it's a pleasant little job. And me and Tina got on great, didn't we, T? Oh, she is lovely. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd not sell my kid to her. But she's nice enough. You all right? Yeah, red wine when you're ready. I'm early. For Steve. No problem. Thank you. Not far. The whole street used to hate me. But now they all hate you instead. Looks like even Steve's going off you. You are. I've had enough of you today. Come on, then. Oh, my two favourite people. Guess the missing word. What can I get you? Oh, you're no fun. Hayley? No. The missing word is... Least. Devastated. What can I get you? Um, half the cider and black. You're not worried about getting the black current out your hair? Becky, she's not worth it. <laughs> I'm only messing with you. Wouldn't it just make her day? Ooh, today Rebecca is channeling sane and dignified. Good luck with that. How thick with that? How thick do you think I am? Um, do you really want me to answer that? How dare you manipulate this little girl? My daughter. You deserve to have a daughter. Yeah, well, at least I've got one. Which is more than you'll ever have. Stop me in public, go on. Hey, Becky! Hey, someone get Steve! What do you think you're doing? Um, what's it to you? Well, we're just about to go to the school. Why isn't she at school? What's going on? We picked her up early for a little treat. Take him to town. Hang on a minute. You can't do that. I know, but it's just been ages since we've seen her. Where's we? Steve? A bit of business at the bank. Come on, Princess. Where have you been? Just looking around them shops, Ames. You know the rules. If anything like this ever happens again, then I'm going to speed dial social services. Do you understand me? I know, I know. Hang on a minute. What are they? Well, I bought some luggage in the sales, 40% off. I mean it. You stay away from my daughter. I know, I know, I know, I know. Why don't you and Max and her and Amy, why don't you all go to Amy's parents' evening together? Oh, don't you stop. Like a nice, proper little family. Becky! And you know what? When the kids are in bed, you can dim the lights, put on a bit of music. Oh, please. Oh, the cheap bottle of wine. As if I'd dim the lights. Shut you up, you. Cow. What, you think I want him? You can have him. I've had him. What did you just say? Oh, don't you realise that's how babies are made? Becky, don't stop. What did I do? I'm sorry, she's just... Was it you? What? You done it. Steve, you really need to get her an interpreter or a carer or something. non comprende? You told them we paid for Max, didn't you? <laughs> it was her. It was her. She phoned social services. Asking me on a Monday, I say yes. Asking me on a Tuesday. Stop I winding say... her up, Barlow. Oh, oh, well, that's a very nice way to speak to the mother of your one and only child. Two kids! He had two kids, I tell you! 
Oh, I know it was you! Let's gain it back it. now! She did it! She did it! Look! Look! Look at that smoke mush! But where's your ah. proof? You're just making things ten times worse! <sighs> Are you coming out here? Go away, Betty! Or do I have to come in? Hello! No. What are you doing? Did you not realise what she's done? It, it, what? it was her. <coughs> no. Go! What's going on out there? Ken! It's Steve. Listen, I'm sorry. Becky! Put that down! Hey! What do you think you're doing? Whoa! Becky, engage brain, you swing that, and we will never get Max back. We will never see him again! Becky, just give it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't if you batter Tracy, no! Move. Steve, I don't want to call the police oh. whenever I have to. Get Tracy to do the dialing, Ken! She's never off the phone, that bitch! This is Becky McDonald. We've been tatty by to Max forever. Ah! Becky, you're insane! Yep! Becky, now listen! I swear to you, it wasn't me! I'm innocent! Ah! Becky! Talk to the sledgehammer. Ah! Becky, put it down! Leave us! Ken, put it down! Tracy, leave my daughter alone! She has cost me my son! It wasn't me! Somebody make her believe me! Becky, look, you guys better stay with Amy. I've done nothing wrong. I swear on Amy's life that I never made that phone call. You swear on Amy. I swear on Amy's life and happiness! That little girl will be happy as Larry once you're six feet under. You no, know that's not true, Becky. Kenny, I have warned you. Get out! Get out! Leave us! It wasn't me! That means no. I'm innocent! That blue-eyed four-year-old is innocent. You know what? He only stopped wetting the bed seven weeks ago, didn't he, Stevie? He got an aeroplane, a comic book, and two extra stories. It wasn't me! What did you say when you finally got through to them? Hi! I'd like to report a kitty, please. He's loved, he's well looked after, and I'd like to blow his life apart! I said nothing because it wasn't me! Uh <laughs> I won't stand for it. We'll sit down then, we've got plenty of stools. Or better still, stop for a game of darts. Say wear and tear on board. Look, I'm warning you, if you keep this up, I'm gonna call the police. Oh, come love, I can't drink on duty. But listen, there's no harm in asking, is there? It's 999. You need me to write that down, boy? <coughs> Who is it? Rent a kill. And I haven't come about the mice. Now, don't bother unpacking out else. There's been a change of plan. Look, Becky, I know you're upset. You might be carrying his baby. Close. Begins with a B. A little, innocent, unborn baby, so don't do anything you might regret. Nothing you ever spawn could be called innocent. You're evil. Get your stuff and get out. <laughs> what? I am still Steve's wife, and therefore half of everything he owns is mine, including this flat. So that makes you a squatter. Yeah, but Steve said that. I don't give a damn what Steve has said. As of now, I live here. Out. No way. Do you want to go through the window or the door? Right. Well, we'll see what Steve's got to say about this. Babe. Babe? Yeah, isn't that the pig in the movie? 
You know what, Becky, can you please let me pass? Because I am pregnant, and pregnant women often need to go to the toilet. Yeah, and unpregnant women, we often like to shove their heads down. Have you ever played that game, Tracy? <sighs> you know, many moons ago, I told you that I'd get your man. And guess what? I have. And do you know why? Because I am so fertile, I'm carrying twins. You two are a couple now. Uh-huh. Whereas you couldn't even cough up one little egg. Right. Do you really want to hit a pregnant woman, Becky? Do you know what being pregnant means? You don't know what it feels like, do you? And you never will. The is not here. He must be. Well, why don't you try it under the settee? Oh. Maybe behind this cushion. Do not mock me. I know you were together last night. What? In that hotel. Carl told me. That was business. Yeah. Well, I know what kind of business. Tracy, you've just been absolutely ridiculous as ever. You've taken him from me. You got your clothes back into him and you've taken him. How could you? Oi, I swear to you, nothing happened. How long's it been going on for? Oh. I mean, did it ever stop? Has he ever been faithful to me? Yeah, he has. No, I don't believe you. Well, it's true. Well, you still want him. Admit it. No. Liar! I don't. Admit it! All right. Yes, all right. Then, yeah. Yeah, I still want Steve. I knew it. And last night, I laid it on a plate for him. I said, come on, let's get a room. Let's go. Because I love the bones of that man. And yes, I would do anything to get him back. But he said no. He said no to me. He chooses you. And you know why? Because you're giving him something that I never can. So don't you even worry about it, Tracy. He's all yours. You all right? Stay away from me. Yes, she is. But I don't think she wants... What the hell are you doing? I've come to find out why you've lied. Becky, I think you'd better leave. I will, as soon as I get an answer. Just get out! Has she told you this tale that I pushed her downstairs? I was the one that called the ambulance. She could have died and all if it weren't for me. It... Why are you doing this? Well, just go, will you? You've caused enough trouble as it is. Come on, it is a simple enough question. I mean, it's not as if you haven't had a chance to leave. Steve's even offered you money to go. Right. So it's to get rid of me once and for all. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? You saw your chance and you took it. You know, Tracy, you didn't need to do any of this. I got the message loud and clear that all Steve wants is you, so even by your twisted standards... Just get pretty. out! Becky, this isn't going anywhere. You're an evil, evil cow. We are going to take you to the cleaners. Right. I get it. This must be what they call a hostile takeover. Oh, yeah. It will be hostile, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm ready to open negotiations anytime. That's enough. Shall I do it? You're missing the speeches. Excuse me. Oh, um, I meant to ask, only I forgot. What was your name before? I mean, before you married Steve. Oh, it's always been Becky. Only you won't want to be keeping it at McDonald's, will you? People might think we're sisters. I often look at you and think sister. You could change your middle name to X. Becky X McDonald. Oh, I'm so pleased that you came. Makes you seem horribly cruel. And me, really sweet. And the cherry popped on top? Steve hates you even more. Look, sir, where you belong. Ah! I hate you! You know what? Yeah. Oh, really? Right. So how come your son spends more time hoovering stuff up his nose than a flaming vacuum cleaner? You spiteful All bitch! Right, that's enough! Shame on you! She'd just come out of hospital. Yeah, she'd be going back there and all in a minute. Come on, let's get you inside. You know what? You haven't heard the last from me. Oh, go and have a relapse. I think you need a drink. No, I need to walk round the block and calm down before I smack someone in the mouth! Drug of choice these days. Me. Do you know what? One more word about my son. Right. Can you see what she's like? All I'm trying to do is have a quiet, peaceful relationship with the man I love. Come here! Right, Jill. you two take it outside you now! You are a sick joke, Tracy! You're mental! Yeah? Outside, outside now! now. I'm ready for you now, Mrs. Oliver. 
The only reason you're doing any of this is because you're jealous of me and Steve. Oh, what would I want with a paunchy cab driver when I've got something much more tasty in my bed? You skip. Ow! Ow! Oh, what the hell are you doing? You cow! Slack! Well, for God's sake! No, she's been after this for weeks! Ryan, help! Oh, stop it! The only reason she's remotely interested in you is to get at me. Oh, my God, the ego on it! Afternoon. Nice day for it. She's just been deliberately winding me up. So you just attack her? She just went at me. My little... What's going on, Tracy? Oh, Ken, you know exactly what she's doing. She's using my son to get at me. You're a sicko. Look, can everybody see what she's like? Come oh, on, this is fine about me and Tracy. Fine! I've been gritting my teeth so much as I wonder I've got any left. Well, you, you said No, that... Ryan! I've been waiting for you to realise what an idiot you're being. You don't mean anything to her. Oh. I don't know how you can say that. Come home, Tracy. Uh, hang on a minute, Ken. I need paying for her air first. And your curlers, back. Mm. Ryan, come round later. Oh, no, you don't. I don't want you anywhere near my flat ever again. Do you understand me? Hold on. No, Ryan. My house, my rules. And if you don't like it, mate, you know what you can do. It's times like this I can't help thinking about me, ma'am. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Just get out. Michelle. I said get out! You know, you can't talk to me like that because I am pregnant. I'll kill you. No, you won't. You do not deserve a son like him. Come here! You're making a fool of yourself! No, Ryan, you're making a fool out of me! <sighs> oh, look at me, I'm shaking. Come on, let's go. It's not good for the baby. You lot, ten to five, class dismissed. Grace, you turn Ryan. Uh, Ryan. Let me think. Which one was he again? This is important, Tracy. No, I haven't seen him. Now go away, cos I'm busy. Oh, come on, love. She's not worth it. Love? Oh, right. I thought you'd come to your senses and kicked her into touch. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we just pretended to split up so you would stop stringing Ryan along and then he would really see what you were like. And guess what? He did! Well, it was never gonna last, was it? I mean, Ryan might be easy on the eye, but there's not much up top. Not that it was bad down below, though. Better than you, anyway. Now, you listen to me. Steve, you trust him. Steve, do something. Get her off. My son is worth ten of you. And if anything happens to him, believe me, I love you. Just get I... her out of here, will you? Come on. Oh, nothing. You're lying. Oh, I wish I was. You're sick in the air, Tracy. He told me last night. Oh, come off it. You're just trying to save Peter's skin. I don't care if Peter rots in hell. But, Tracy, he did not kill Tina. Then come away. Look, I believe her. Oh, well, there's a surprise. You know, you had to make this about you, didn't you? You know what, Tracy? You're not completely blameless yourself. Oh, what? You're giving me his alibi. You lie. I don't have to answer to you. No, but you have to answer to them. <sighs> what? Well, suddenly, this is all my fault. Tracy, we've both lost. Get off! Calm down! Everybody inside! Where's your brother? Go. Gone where? I don't know. Who tipped him off? <laughs> Get her out of my sight. <laughs> and I do not need this on top of everything else! Get out of my way. Give me those. No! What are you gonna do? You plan to keep me hostage here? Eh, Tracy? I mean, is that the plan? Because, you know, even by your standards, that's a bit pants. Now move, come on. I said no! And I said this! Right, that is it! I've had enough, I'm calling the police. No! No, please! You give me one good reason why I should have... I loved him! And he loved me! <laughs> Oh, so I dared say something about Saint Carla. Well, do you know what? She might not be a saint, but I know for sure that if Nick had just bought this place and was feeling as nervous as hell about making a go of it, that Carla would be stood there right beside him, telling him he'd done good and that there was no way it wasn't going to be a success. I don't know why you're even talking about her. You are. 
unbelievable. This, this attitude of yours, it, it's nasty and it's juvenile. And to be honest, it's boring. Old witch anyway. Right, we're going. But if you knew everything I'd done for you. <gasps> oh, you've done it. You have really done it now. I don't believe you. How I found out about you and him. How I got you to twist Nick's arm so he would sell the bistro to Robert. So when your fiancé comes back home, I'm going to make sure he finds out exactly what you've been doing behind his back. No, you're lying again. Ask Robert yourself. Are you all right? You're unbelievable. Oh, I like to think so. I won't let you ruin this wedding. I think you're confusing me with somebody that gives them monkeys. Drop the act. I know it was you who sent those flowers into the middle of God knows where, and so does Michelle. Oh, now I get it. Well, if that's true, why isn't she around here now trying to rip my face off? Because I convinced her that today is about Carla, not you. Yeah, well, it doesn't change the fact that you are short. Three corsages, two buttonholes and ten bouquets. Oh, I do believe I've implicated myself. Me and my big mouth. You need professional help. Yeah, and you need a whole lot of flowers in a matter of hours. Of course, rush order like that won't come cheap. You're not serious. Well, obviously, I wouldn't be your first choice. But it seems to me that you are up a certain creek without a paddle. And, um, busy Tracy is much more preferable to bored Tracy. You know, idle hands and all that. So you've got everything that you ever wanted. Not everything. Everything would be your daughter, slumped in a shop doorway, drunk, broken, sipping on a cheap bottle of sherry. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. Oh, cue the violins. All that jealousy. <laughs> what, you think that I'm jealous of Carla? Oh, I know you are. Think about it. Her life to date. Nightmare upbringing. Waste of space, Mum. Psycho brother. One terrible relationship after the other. I think you're forgetting her pathetic excuse for a father. Hmm. I'm saving the worst till last. Yet despite me, despite all the obstacles and all her failings, she's still the better woman. Strong. I do. That slag slept with my boyfriend. Oh, Lord. She's slept with Robert. Get his lawful, Tracy. Making a mistake isn't illegal. What? What you know? Yeah. Sorry to uh, rain on your grenade. But the only person you're showing up is yourself. So, if you've got nothing more to say, I'd let's get on with my wedding. Oh, no, I've got plenty to say. I mean, what sort of idiot are you, Nick? She has lied, and she's lied! OK, OK, uh, you can go now. Out. Right, so what happens now, then? I mean, are you going to marry a liar and a cheat? And then what, move to Devon? Do you know she never wanted to go to Devon, Nick? It was me that told her to go. It was me that made you sell the bistro to Robert. I wanted us to start our new lives together. Look, did she tell you that she gave us money so that Robert could afford it? Did she tell you that? No, she didn't, did she? You see, she will never stop lying. Yeah, I'll give her the money. So it's true? Yes. Yeah, it's true. I would have told you, I would have told you every detail, and I will. It's just, it's... There's nothing new in it. This is part of that one same mistake. Do you know that she'll say anything? She doesn't love you, Nick. She only loves herself, and you know that. Oh, enough! Nick. Get off! What? Get off me, Robert! Uh, stay with me. Robert! Stay with me, baby. We've got our whole future ahead of us. OK, don't let her poison that, because no matter what lies, I might... Stay away from Robert. <sighs> or what? You're going to pull me ponytail? I'll do whatever it takes. Oh, Tracy, we work together. It's ridiculous. I won't warn you twice. 
Does Robert know you're sneaking around in the dark, issuing silly little threats? Don't push me. You know what I'm capable of. I'm not a woman you want to mess with. Get off! Ah, oh, butterfingers. Tony, sort this out before I throw her out <laughs> by the roof. <laughs> I'm not giving that old prozzy a penny. Are you asking for a smack in the face? Hey, are you? What, off you? Hey, what about my broken stock? Yeah, well, better that than a broken face. Mind you, with you, you'd notice a difference. Do you know, I don't even know what any of this has got to do with me. Doing anything nice to... Should we go inside? Have you got a receipt for this delivery? Well, Tony handles all of that. It will be emailed. And shows the email. Oh, beginning of your shift, is it? I know, let's go and find a cash shop and hassle them. Save us going on the street, doing some real policing. We have reason to believe that these are stolen goods. What reason? Have you got evidence? Maybe it's on email. Like your receipt, miss. Well, it's you that's going to be answering questions to your boss. Get in the car, please. Well, I don't even know what's in the flaming boxes. We can arrest you if you prefer. Oh, this is a power trip to you, isn't it? Well, you can't arrest me because you don't have any evidence. Do you? Thought not. Tracy Barlow, I'm arresting you on suspicion of handling stolen goods. Oh, get off me! You do not have to say anything, but it may Talking be... Talking about crazy ex questions. Some, some crazy ex business partner you before. Say, Where is he? Where's who, Tracy? You know who. Hey! Where's Robert? How would I know where Robert is? Give him a pulse back. What, these? I don't think so. I've got eyes in me head, Carla. He's giving me the slip and I know what he's doing. He's on his way up to you now. No, he's not. No, he's not, Tracy. Just... Will you give him my pulse back, please, and just get out of my room before I... I'll call the police. Oh, dear. You're in no fit state for a fight, are you? I see. All I came for was a lie down. OK, I have no idea where Robert is. You know Michelle's going to be back in two minutes? No, I don't think so. I think the next person through that door will be Robert. And you know something? He's going to be in for a big surprise, isn't he? You know you're wrong. I don't think so. Look, Robert loves you. Oh, really? And how would you know that? Oh, because anybody can see it. Besides, I love Nick. You know, this is, this is all in your head. Really? Yes, really. Look, I have no idea where Robert is right now, but I do know one thing. He's not coming through that door. Tracy. Okay, please just... Give me my pills. So there's nothing going on between you and Robert? No, nothing crossed my heart. So what about the night at the casino? Oh, yeah, you see, you didn't think I knew about that, did you? No, well, I have no idea. I know everything! Oh, there's nothing to know, Tracy. OK. Well, let me take your mind back to a different night, shall I? The night you were dragged down the street by a speeding car. The night the power was out at the bistro. You and Robert were talking in the bar. I was in the kitchen, Carla. I was listening to every word. Did you just smirk at me? Ah, oh, grow up. Yeah, you did, you smirked. Tracy, please. Do you know what? I'm really glad Robert's found out what you really are. Smirk off your face. <laughs> what was that? You heard me. Oh, yeah, of course you will. I'd like to see you try. You spiteful! Oh, Tracy, Tracy! Right, ladies, ladies, will you scrap? Take it outside. Ken, get her up. Oh, don't worry, Liz. Oh, good go. riddance, silly cow. You know, it's a good job she's done one because I was going to wipe the floor with her. Tracy, that's enough. What is everybody looking at? The show is over. Talk amongst yourselves. Tracy? Oh! <laughs> Happy Christmas. His wife. Inside.
you got a receipt for this delivery? Well, Tony handles all of that. It will be emailed. And shows the email. Oh, beginning of your shift, is it? I know. Let's go and find a cash shop and hassle them. Save us going on the street, doing some real policing. We have reason to believe that these are stolen goods. What reason? Have you got evidence? Maybe it's on email. Like your receipt, miss. Look, it's you that's going to be answering questions to your boss. Get in the car, please. Well, I don't even know what's in the flaming boxes. We can arrest you if you prefer. Oh, this is a power trip to you, isn't it? Well, you can't arrest me because you don't have any evidence. Do you? Thought not. Tracy Barlow, I'm arresting you on suspicion of handling stolen goods. Oh, get off me! You do not have to say anything, but it may Talking be... Talking about crazy ex -missus. ...some crazy ex business partner before. You say you may be given any evidence. Is that he owes us 250 notes? You don't frighten me. Oh, no. I'd put her down if I were you. Cosmetic dentistry is an expensive business. What? It is cheaper in Eastern Europe, but I'd have made come back from Budapest with an abscess the size of a cricket ball. What are you? Oh, I'm just trying to inject a bit of wit into this tedious Neanderthal exchange, but if you want to keep it simple, let her go or I'll break your face. Is that clear enough for you? Get out! Well, you heard the lady. This isn't over. Oh, yeah. It is. Well, are you were hoping for otherwise, Liz? Oh, too right, I was. You see, I told you she'd done it. What does it matter? The police aren't interested. Yeah, no thanks to her. Look, either buy a drink or get lost. So you're just going to stand there and lie through your teeth? And you all thought she was the better woman? Since you put it like that... OK. Guilty as charged. I want an apology. When hell freezes over. Just tell me why you did it, Liz. She didn't have to justify herself to you. Well, it was payback, wasn't it? Is that what you think? You are even more up yourself than I thought. I called the police to force Tony out into the open. I thought if they find something incriminating, they can track him down. I want an end to this nightmare. So I was what? You were a means to an end. Oh, you are so full of it. You are just totally irrelevant. You're nothing. You know, Liz, I expected better from you. What not? It must be really difficult to spend all that time on your own. Robert and I are planning a really nice romantic night for two. You know, salmon on croute, chablis on ice. Oh, really? Well, that's funny, cos I've been with Robert all day. And from what I've heard, he'd rather boil his own head than spend another second with you. Enjoy your fish. Bye, um, Ken. I think we could, uh, walk Eccles before the pizza. After. Cos that wasn't embarrassing. Why? You having trouble seeing me, Granny? Cataracts playing up, are they? OK, now that's just out of order. Hmm. So's your girlfriend's stair lift. OK. Uh, Robert! Oh, and FYI, that outfit you wore on our night out, oh, talk about lame. What's your dress? Blindfolded or summer? Oh, right, that's it. Do you know what? I am willing to let the cataracts and the stair lift wisecrack pass me by, but nobody, and I mean nobody, criticises my boyfriend's dress sense, so you need to apologise. And fast. Well, what? Are you going to Zimmer frame me to death? Don't judge me for this, Luke. Oh, I'm 
going to flaming kill that David Platt. It wasn't him. It was me. I'm sorry. Keep talking. Did you know about this? It was an accident. I had a thing at work. I thought I knew how to do highlights. It's flaming orange. Tracy, David, he did a test patch. He's going to fix it tomorrow. I will pay for it, OK? Right. And where were you when these two were playing hairdresser? I was at work. And where were you? I thought Todd was looking after Summer. Oh. Well, this goes to show, doesn't it, that neither of you are capable of looking after a kid. I wouldn't trust you with a goldfish, let alone a child. Right, Amy, come on, we're leaving. And you, missus, I suggest you call social services and beg them to take you in. See, will you please just let me explain? Don't touch that. Me and Tim are going for the world record with them elastic bands. Right, well, I'm going to strike you a deal. You are going to tell me exactly why you gave your ex £10,000, and I'm going to stand here and listen on one teeny weeny condition. Every time you say something that I don't like, I'm going to get one of these and I'm going to ping it at your head. Oh, well, then you can't do that. It took us ages. All right, one question. Does it have to be something you just don't like or something you don't believe? Both. Well, go on, then. The thing is, is that I found out that I owe Michelle more money from the divorce. So I thought it best I uh, pay her off. Right, so if I got on the phone to your solicitors, they could back that up? Strictly speaking, it wasn't money that I actually owed her, but money I could have owed her if she'd asked for more. Right, so what you're saying is you didn't need to give her that money at all? Right, get a nitpick. A... Have you got feelings for her? No. Liar! How many times I want you, not me? So how come you didn't pay me £10,000? Hang on a minute. Is she blackmailing you? No. Well, that's a shame, because that I could have understood. Uh, they didn't, they didn't, uh, listen, if you want the truth, it's because I felt sorry for her. Sorry for Michelle? Why? Because of Rory, that's why. After everything I've put her through, £10,000 the least I owe her. And if it helps her through a rough patch, then more's the better. Do you still love her? No. Look, if anything, this is going to make them stick together, isn't it? If I wanted her back, I wouldn't do that, would I? Don't be going telling everybody the skint. Do you promise me that you're telling me the truth? On me ball. What's left of it? Right, well, in that case, I won't say out. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, OK? It was a drunken, stupid mistake. And yeah, I know I said that last time and then Oliver showed up nine months later, but Steve regrets it more than I do, and I regret it a lot. I was talking about Oliver's outfit. Oh, my God. You slept with Steve again? It was once. It was a mistake. I'm when? sorry. Oh, does it matter? Yes, Leanne. Yes, it matters. Was it last week, last month, or this morning? All right, calm down. I'll... Oh... Yeah, yeah, I know exactly when it was. That evening when Amy went into hospital, I couldn't get hold of him. Sorry. Tracy, please, please don't do this. Do what, Leanne? Tell everybody what an old slapper you are. Yeah, um, I think it's about time that little Oliver found out what his mummy was really like. You know, the Battersby bike. She can't find a man of her own, so she steals other people's husbands. Twice. Right, that's it. No, 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 you don't want to do this. Yes, I do. Listen, this is my fault. Just punch me again. Oliver, grown-ups are supposed to tell the truth, aren't they? But your mummy and daddy are just a nasty pair of little liars. And your mummy is really desperate because every single bloke she goes out with either, I don't know, walks out, 
or dies or dates a sister. Right, that's it! Not the key! Oh! 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 you're making a right seat! Oh! Well, somebody help me! Come on! Another wedding, another cat fight. Hey, this, is, I mean, this is not good, this is not good! Get off of it! Go ahead! You're not supposed to be filming, you're supposed to be breaking it out! Miss the first punch, this is for Sal. Stop it! <laughs> On his happy day. You all right, Tracy? Did she not hear what happened? Uh, we've got a text, a big one. So how in hell's name, in hell's name, could I be all right? Yeah, that's right, Mary. I've had a little drink, and so would you, if you were me. Oh, hello, Tracy. Oh, hello, Sinead. You look nice. You bitch. Oi! Now, just calm down. No, I won't calm down, and you know why? Because you lot were right. You knew something like this was going to happen. I see, none of us knew about Steve. No, Dad. Something like this. You knew it was going to go wrong, so you all stayed away. And you know something? I don't actually blame you, because you two, you two, you make a really lovely couple. I just wish that I could have been a lovely couple. <laughs> Looking for these? Open the door now. No, why should I? Because it's freezing and because you left me in the middle of a Moroccan desert. Well, you can't blame me for that, Steve. And besides the nearest village, it was only seven miles away, as the crow flies. As the vulture flies, you mean? They were circling overhead, debating whether to skip the flipping starter. I'm burnt to a crisp here. I must have shed my own body weight and skin. Oh, just like a snake. How appropriate. If that goat herder hadn't happened by... Knew somebody would find you. 18 hours in the back of that truck. 18 hours bouncing over dirt roads with just half a dozen goats for company just to try and get back to the resort. And when I threw myself on the mercy of the hotel manager, he ran the police. Oh, that's a bit dramatic. And if it hadn't been for the British consul, I would still be in a Moroccan prison now. And just as your belly dancing career was taking off. Oh, well. You're home now. Yeah, no, thanks to you. I mean, why on earth did you take me passport? What? Oh, don't worry about it, babe. It's just a misunderstanding. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm still trying to understand why your mother thought it was a good idea to leave me in the middle of a North African desert and then go back to the hotel, trash the room, and then fly home with me wallet and me passport. Is this true? Amy, you heard what he did to me. He had it coming. I can't believe the two of you. Like a pair of toddlers. Keys! Yeah, that's right. Run away. But you won't get far. You're in for a nasty shock. Well, that makes two of us then, doesn't it? Because there's no baby left to fight for. Amy has had an abortion. Oh, change the record, love. I can name that tune in one. You think that I'm lying? Yeah, your lips are moving. Well, trust me, I wish it was a lie, but it's not. The baby's gone. How could you let her do it? Why are you bothered, Vicky? I thought that's what you wanted. Oh, you got used to the idea and all, did you? Yeah, well, thanks to us, Amy's gone off and she's got it sorted because she was sick to the back teeth of the so-called grown-ups fighting over it. Penny's dropped, has it? You know, if you'd have just left things alone, that baby, our grandchild, would still be alive. So well done. You can't pin this on me. If she can't talk to her own mother, that's hardly my fault. Look, I am not saying that I'm innocent. But between us, we forced a terrified teenager into having an abortion. So with that in mind, I think we should just stay clear of each other. What, you think I'm just gonna let you wash your hands of this? But why wouldn't you, after everything that's happened? You tried to get my son arrested? I mean, he could've ended up in the sex offenders register. So you're gonna pay for that? Listen, love, a word of advice. It doesn't really work out well for people that threaten me, so I'd wind my neck in. <laughs> like I'm frightened of you. Mum? Yeah, well, you should be. You might think that monkey boy here is dangerous but I have done stuff that you couldn't even dream of. Ask about. Is everything all right? Shouldn't you be hanging round the gates of Weathy High for when playtime finishes? I... Hey, you, you got me, Craig! 
Oh, here we go. Seconds out, round three. Gotta go over. How is your left up these days? It's one thing after another with that mad. Don't write checks you can't cash. Leave them all. Yeah, you're right. You're right. She's not worth grazing my knuckles on. Oh, no, not when there's a pavement to do it for you. Oh, oh, oh all right, all right, that's enough. Tyler, get her out of here. This isn't a bit of money in your pocket. What's your point? Do you really want to be throwing all that away on a baby? Sleepless nights, throwing all your hard-earned cash away on nappies and formula milk? No. No, I didn't think so. To take the five grand and do one. It doesn't seem like much to never see your kid again. Don't do that. You're not getting any more money. That's my final offer. Well, maybe I want to see it. Maybe I want to be a dad. Oh, really? Take the five grand. Um, listen, why don't we go back that way? Because I think uh, Rover might need another week. You know, I want to go home. I know, but I need to get something from Devs anyway. Changing. Oh, really? All right. Oh. My mum's got a heart set on this grandkid now, and obviously I'll have to talk to Amy. You step anywhere near my daughter, and I'll make sure you've got zero chance of ever getting anybody pregnant again. It's easy to blame me, but it takes two people to make a baby. Your daughter isn't as innocent as you think. You nasty little git! Are you coming on to me? Because I definitely would. Oh, uh, Amy! Oi, Tracy, let him go. What are you doing? Tyler, get to work, you're late. Guess I'll be seeing you around, then. Can you leave my stuff alone, please? I heard you came in last night and hassled Bethany as well. Yeah, well, if you knew how to manage them, Robert, I wouldn't have to. What have you done, Steve? Before I tell you anything, I want you to know that I've done nothing wrong. Where are you going? To lock the door. You know, in case they have to kill you. Uh, no, listen, leave... No. Put the scissors down. Put them down! Or I'm not telling you anything. Who is she, Steve? Who's who? Oh, don't give me that. It's Emma. And it's nothing like that. It's all very innocent. What about Emma? <laughs> well, the thing is... Um... Yeah, get on with it, Steve. Right, listen. A dad. Well, no. Right, a, da a dad isn't a dad. A dead dad. A dead dad's not a dad. And a mom's... Fiona Middleton. Anyway, the thing is... Fiona Middleton? Uh, yeah, what a real dad, you know, a live dad. Uh, a biological dad, not the dead dad. The, the, a, a dad. A, you, right, a dad, it looks like it could be me. Yeah, yeah, Emma's... Emma's my daughter. You know, I'd be fine with a chicken. No, I am taking you to the bistro. Be grateful. Just you and me. Just you and me. Come on, my dad, do you a row or something? Ow, are you packing in? I've already been at town with flowers once today. Oh, with thorns on. <laughs> I wish I had nettles or a cactus or that massive pongy one. How many more of your kids do I have to have in my life, eh? Do you know what? I think Emma's made it up. And that cow, Fiona Middleton, they're in league together. They want your money. I've had a DNA test. What money? What DNA test? What have you done now? You've had a DNA test? Thanks, nice, sweetheart. Uh, we will have that chippy tea. Have you had another baby? Oh, no, I've not had another baby. Well, I mean, she was a baby once. Who is he talking about? Do you know Emma? You know, from the hairdressers. Yeah, she's your sister. 